Hey there, and welcome to another edition of Atlassian's Demo Den. My name is Andrew, and I'm a product manager from the Bitbucket Cloud team. In today's session, I'm keen to show you how we're helping our Bitbucket Server customers migrate from Bitbucket Server to Bitbucket Cloud using a tool we call the Bitbucket Cloud Migration Assistant, or BCMA. With the new tool now available on, on the Atlassian Marketplace, we help you prepare for the migration using a feature called Pre-Flight Checks, and then actually run the migration to bring across all your pull requests, comments, reviewers, approvers, projects, and users to the cloud. So let's get started. To begin, we've already installed the BCMA from the marketplace. Bitbucket server open, we can confirm this by going to the cog icon and then seeing a new option in the list here that says migrate to cloud. Clicking on it, we'll go to the migrations dashboard. If it's the first time you're visiting the tool, you'll also go to the Migration Assistant Home, where you'll see a number of details about your server environment, details on and resources on how to plan your migration and using the assistant, alongside any limitations that currently exist within the app. So let's go and click and manage your migration. Here we return back to that index and we can click create new migration. Now, if you've ever used one of our previous tools like the Confluence Cloud Migration Assistant or Jira Cloud Migration Assistant, also referred to as the JCMA or CCMA, you'll know this process really well because the BCMA follows the similar steps. So let's go through the process of connecting to cloud, choosing what to migrate, checking for errors, which is similarly known as pre-flight checks, reviewing our migration and then running it now. So let's connect to cloud. Here I've already pre-filled in the name of the migration that I want to go through, but let's just go through the steps of connecting to that cloud environment so that's really clear. Now, as an administrator, I'm going to go and check that I have my account and my correct Atlassian ID name, and I'm going to go here to the base URL within server settings. Great, so with that copied in, I can now choose which workspace I want to migrate to. Now I've set up one just for this demo today. And I'll also allow access to migrations data within my server environment. Clicking confirm, returns me back to the VCMA within my server environment. With my two locations set, I can click next. Next up, the VCMA will inform me what active and inactive users will be migrated from my server environment to cloud. I can choose repositories next. Great, and then on this screen here, I can choose whatever repos I'd like. I've already pre-chosen three from a number of different projects, which is called Bluebird, Bumblebee, and Butterfly. But if I wanted to find them, I could always search for them using the character search up top, or I could specify a specific project that I want to pull from. Maybe let's choose normal repository here as well. So now with our four repositories selected, let's add that to the migration. And here is the first part where we come to what we call pre-flight checks. They go through and making sure that the system is operational. They also check that all of the active and inactive users that we've just attached have valid details so they can be migrated across the cloud. Next, we make sure that there are no naming conflicts with projects. And lastly, that there are no naming conflicts or size issues when it comes to the repos that we've chosen to migrate. This is a great tool to use really early on in your migration journey, because if you have any errors that appear here, it gives you an idea about the scale and magnitude of work that needs to be done to ensure that your server environment is prepared to make that transition to cloud really easy. Great. So in this case, we've got all green ticks down the board, so let's review our migration. Great, so now we've got our reviewed migration here, come up with the details about our pre-flight checks again, and gives us the details of everything that we wanna migrate. So, sometimes we don't wanna migrate this straight away. So it makes sense for us to save this migration plan for later. After we save a migration plan, it will be added to the migrations dashboard index, and then we can come back later on to run the migration or view its details. We can also see what cloud destination workspace we wanted to go into. What's great about us saving a plan is that it allows you to go through team by team and make sure that you're ready to migrate. 
And then when the day comes that you wish to migrate all of your projects to your cloud environment and start those new workflows in the cloud, um, we rerun those pre-flight checks for you as part of the migration plan. So that means that if there have been any changes or large changes in repo sizing or changes in names, that becomes really clear for you once we go through, the, through those pre-flight checks once again. So in this case, for the sake of the demo, let's actually migrate immediately. So now we'll click Run Migration. Great. So with the migration running, we're now in the position that we can leave this and come back to it later. Um, sometimes we might have an issue and we want to stop a migration. You can do that on the review page or you can also do that on the index for a migration that's currently in flight. Let's however open up in a new tab that cloud workspace that we want to go to. We started with a blank cloud workspace that had no details within it, which you can see here. And then as the migration completes, you'll see that this will become filled and we'll go through exactly what's been migrated to cloud. Okay, and now we're back and we can see that we've actually completed our migration. We can see that all of our active users, inactive users have been migrated along with 100% of the associated repository data for the four that we chose. So now if we click right here to demo den test, we can go straight to the destination cloud workspace that we migrated all our data to. And if we check out this test one here called Bumblebee, what we'll find is full data on that actual um, source. We'll find out all of the commits on that, on that particular thing alongside their authors. Next up, any branches. And then lastly, our pull requests. Now going over here to merged, we can see our whole history of merged pull requests along with their authors. Along with that, we can see any comments associated to them and their reviewers. If we click here into this one, we can also see any comments and inline comments and the diffs associated with these PRs. And that's it for the demo on Bitbucket Cloud's Migration Assistant. Please feel free to give us any feedback that you have to help us improve. You can view more documentation and access the migration link from the marketplace to test it yourself below. And that's all for the demo today. Thank you and see you next time.